Welcome to our 10-acre self-sustainable homestead in the middle of the forest, complete with a solar array powerful enough to run heat and air conditioning 24-7, an unlimited fresh water supply, and a state-of-the-art waste management system that allows our off-grid home to run with virtually zero ongoing monthly expenses. Well, almost. Over the next two days, we're going to cultivate this mud pit to allow us to grow thousands of pounds of fresh fruits and vegetables every year. Come along. Wherever in the world you're watching our videos from, I'm pretty confident we're all having a shared experience right now. Americans will be spending more than they did last year. Skyrocketing inflation. Cost of food, electricity and rent have all been steadily increasing. We live in the middle of the woods and we have all of the space around us. So what we've decided to do is put it to good use and start really expanding our food production. So this area all in front of the solar panels, it's 40 feet by 20 feet wide, which is about 800 square feet of growing space. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big, but we're gonna cultivate this land and put in lots of rows of vegetables, all different types. So the goal is by fall, we'll be able to produce enough produce that we can completely cover ourselves for the winter and hopefully help out our family as well because the prices have just gotten completely out of control. Or the other goal is to open that fruit stand at the end of the driveway called Fruits by Fruits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are gonna get to work on this and get this done. I mean, we'll get, like, I just figure we might as well get some of the big ones out now. We don't have to be, like, perfect about it. Where are we putting everything? Sticks and anything that you see, it all has to come out. So we'll just put it in the cart for now. And then I'm just going to dump it in, like, the woods. Yeah, this is going to take a while, though. Oh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> So we go on one. One, two, three. You counted backwards. You said go on one, and then you said one, two, three. Mm. This is why I should be the project manager. You're the best buddy. Your dad's the best helper, aren't you? So we just came up with a genius plan. We're gonna use the excavator and load it in to the RTV. Because it has the automatic bucket on the back, we're gonna be able to just like fill in all of the garden beds so much easier. Hey. Hey. Do you want me to back in beside it? Yeah. Okay. I gotta get rid of, I got rhubarb bulbs and straw mulch in the back. I gotta get rid of. You gotta learn how to sweet talk Rochelle to get her into reverse. Rochelle, I don't think that's what we're gonna call her. We gotta come up with something. What do you guys think we should call her? Needs to be something with a K, I think. Or an R. Why? RTV? No. Or you want K? K for Kubota. Okay. One load done, 47 more to go. Oh, lunch time? Yeah. I made chicken salad sandwiches. They're so good. I'm um, I'm really feeling it right now. Yeah. Being out in that sun all day, Todd and I are literally like five different shades right now. <laughs> <laughs> the difference. <laughs> oh, and this is dirt. So <laughs> if you want to really compare. Oh my, yeah. I do tan a little bit quicker than Tyler, but look at how good it's looking. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed, love. I'm really impressed. A lot yeah. of hard work, but. It's gonna be so worth it. So worth it. A lot of food. A lot of food. All right, we are gonna slam back these sandwiches. Oh, we should we address this? <laughs> no. 
It's a mess. <laughs> the workshop has turned back into a storage space until we can pick up with this project again. Yeah, we've really just put it on pause because there's so many more important things. Like we yeah. can do this when the weather's bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We gotta make, gotta make food while the sun shines, huh? <laughs> all right, we're gonna eat. So we just finished up lunch and what we're gonna do now is Todd's gonna move all of the sort of landscape barrier logs that we have here. And I'm gonna jump in the excavator and pull all the soil down. Yeah. We're getting close to tilling. That's what I'm most excited for, surprisingly. Tilling? It's spreading the sheet manure and tilling it in because then we're like, nothing stopping us from planting. My first day on earth, you sang me a tune. Forever won't be long enough with you. And I'll never let you go, I'll never say goodbye. Together for eternity, oh, I love you. Like it? Yeah, it looks really good. Look at this. It's so nice and flat everywhere. You did a really good job, hon. Thanks, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in some cow manure, some sheep manure, and some peat moss, right? Gotta make it fertile. Exactly, so that's what we're gonna do quickly. What do you think, boy? What do you think, huh? I'm excited to grow some asparagus. Oh, I love making my peat stink. All right, I'm gonna get to opening some bags of manure. <laughs> so I'm thinking just spreading them like kind of everywhere. Sure, and that's cow, and I've got sheep here. So okay. Why don't we kind of mix it? Because I'm sure Wilma has different nutrients in her poop compared to Bessie. <laughs> Holy smokes, you guys. This is a very, very big job. I'm not sure what we were thinking or how easy we thought this was gonna be, but I've been picking stones out of this for like hours and Todd is still going. Doing great. He just said he's so tired. It's um, Physically exhausting. I can't imagine doing this without actual equipment all day. We would have been weeks doing this. So I've been slowly picking out all of the stones. As you can see, the driveway is just littered in them. I'd say we're about 75% of the way there. It's gonna be worth it. First day on earth, I fell into your eyes. Look at how our galaxies collide. How are you feeling? A sense of accomplishment. So we've got it all tilled up, and now it's time to put some rows in. How many rows are we gonna do? So, I've been thinking about this, because I was like, how do you make it so you can access it all without always having to step over other plants? Do you get the vision? Do you? Because I don't. But I, whatever you want, I'm down. I love that new one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new Tyler. So we need to make sure we're going semi-straight. It might be hard for two gay guys, but... We'll do the best we can. Oh, this is a no for me. Ben, why don't you go make us iced coffee? <laughs> iced coffee with a splash of rosé. <laughs> Hold the coffee. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Thanks for the ice coffee. Back to it. I'll wear the armor, I'll raise 
raise a flag I'll roll my sleeves up Show them where it's at I'll get the job done I'll take a stand I'll make an offer Make them understand If you got it And you want Did you nap him? Okay. Here's Bob. Oh, big stretch. Were you snoozing, little buddy? I wasn't sleeping, I was resting my eyelids. You know what's good? What? Next year, all we have to do is just till in a little bit of nutrients and make the rows. We don't have to do all this other bullshit. That's true. Like, it's only gonna be easier next year. Are you guys still on? Do you know what? Yes. What? Let's leave this as one big row for the pumpkins. Sure. Because I'm done. It is an entire day doing this project later, and we have all of the garden rows in. It looks really, really good, but we can't plant today. What? I was going to get a shovel. I have like literally nothing left to give. Oh my God. Oh, carry me to the dome. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Do you have anything to say? I'll catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> I need to go shower. So rather than having a hot shower, we decided to come to the river instead. We're trying to teach Charlie and Eddie how to get dive toys and not attack the muscles and clams that are in the water. It's not really going that well. Um, yeah, they don't, they don't get it. They're slow learners. Eddie's mostly bringing up rocks and Charlie's just not even paying attention. <laughs> like at all. Hey buddy. Oh, he looked like he wanted it. Try throwing it. Do you want it? Good boy, buddy. Oh, so then we have to go get the dive toy. Not working out. So we ended up going further up the river than we normally go. Did some exploring and found pretty cool cove to yeah. relax in. It's pretty nice here and there's yeah. different areas that are deep enough for the boys to swim in and there's some areas that we can just like sit in and be up to our chest. It's really nice. Yeah. Hey buddy, what do you think? What do you think, little buddy? Anyway. Perfect way to end the day. You going for one of those clams, are you? <laughs> Today's lesson, not so much. We'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. So I'm thinking we've come up with the perfect plan for this garden. So in total, we have 19 rows, which is kind of a lot, but we've made a list of all of the vegetables that we're gonna plant here to best suit our needs. So we've come up with a bunch of different recipes that we'll be making well, for- Also balancing what we can actually get in store, let's be honest. <laughs> we know we're a little late to be putting a garden in, so there weren't as many plant options as we had hoped for, but- We're making it work though. Exactly, because anything we get out of here is more than if we didn't do this, so I'm it pretty excited. It is such a mess behind you, by the way. Oh yeah, that's kind of our like- Upcoming project. <laughs> like set it and forget it area, but- um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start off with our more tall plants like potatoes and stuff on this side and then work our way across in front of the panels with shorter plants like yeah. our pumpkins and squash and more viney things. The reason for that is the sun sits longer on this side of the property so we don't want to run the risk too high of the tall plants blocking shadow. So being on this side, less chance of that. Yeah, this is south obviously, yeah. which is why we have the beautiful solar array right there. So. All right. Yeah, this is still gonna be good though. Like potatoes, onions, oh, yeah. garlic. What more do you need for soups and stews and chilies? All right, I've got all of our little like tags ready to go. Well, most of them. I think we can get to planting. Let's start with potatoes and get this done. The potats. Potats, gonna get our taters in. Gonna get your taters in. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay. This right here, buddy, that's gonna be garlic mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. This one here though, 
that's gonna grow the potatoes that I'm gonna make on a random morning for breakfast to make half crust, right? Ooh, do you know what we could do with some of the clay around here? We could make a little, like make our own dishes for the house. Get a pottery wheel. If a couple wrong turns mean a couple good days, I figure out how to throw my worries away. And if the world burns, I'ma be okay when I hear your name. Cause all I really need is me. What are you putting them? Just in here. It's oh, just, in the water? Well, just near it. It's way too direct sunlight out there, and I don't want it to get injured, you know? It's so cool how he came out of his little shell. Yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful color, too. Yeah. There you go. This is a safer place. He'll go crawl on the rock. Yeah. Oh, so he won't eat our plants now. <laughs> That's what he was doing. He said, ooh, look at this buffet. Look, he's opening back up. It's so cool. Okay. Hi. Procrastinating. Oh really? It's science class. Every day is science class here. Okay. Right. Zucchini time. How many are we doing of those? There's seven plants. Okay. Let's do it. Zucchini, zucchini, I love you, zucchini. You're only 45 to 60 days away. If the world burns, I'ma be okay when I hear your name. All I really need is me. Yo, you're the only lens I see. Yo, when I fall asleep, I dream. Yo, all I see, all I dream is you. It's just me. What are they? Pickling cucumber. We're um, making those fire and ice ones. They smell good. Mm -hmm. So. Planting is going pretty well. We've got everything that we can into the garden bed, but now what we're gonna start doing is the area around the veggie garden, so this little embankment between the two logs. What we're doing with it is we've got a couple juniper bushes that are gonna go in to give us some evergreen and also help like clearly separate the road when we have snowfall. In between that, we're gonna plant some rhubarb, and then we're also in front of everything gonna put some garlic and green onions, some chives and asparagus. But what we gotta do now is take all these bulbs of garlic and break them so that we have all the cloves because each clove will then create a new bulb. Right? Yes. And we got hay bales to sit on while we do it. <laughs> it's so warm, holy smokes. It is a warm one, but I'm glad that we're doing this now because- yeah, just sunbathing. Yeah. All right, here we go. This area is going to be so cool. Just like a sea of garlic. I couldn't live without garlic. No. I wouldn't want to. No. That's not the life of me. garlic plants later <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of garlic if it all grows a lot of garlic but <laughs> honestly we were just saying garlic is in literally everything that we make so we can nev never really have enough of it plus it keeps forever so yeah okay i'm gonna go grab the straw to put on top of this now though since it's done we might as well just finish this bed true yeah okay okay Literally an entire day of gardening later, and we're still not finished. <laughs> a little bit more to go. A little bit more. We still have to do all of this all the way up here, but slow and steady wins the race, as they say. We're really, really crushing it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling um, 
just very like prepared. I don't know. Like I know this isn't gonna be all the food that we need, but I feel like it's taken. <laughs> it's a pretty good chunk. Yeah, and it just kind of takes that uncertainty that we feel right now yeah. with like the prices of everything going sky high. It's just sort of, even if it's a more of a mental thing, it feels very good. I totally agree. Yeah. So we've planted, I don't even know how many, probably close to a thousand plants. I'm not, I'm not joking. We did 200 garlic bulbs. We did a hundred asparagus. And the reason we did so many asparagus is it's really, really expensive where we live. Oh, it's so expensive. Yeah. So we figure, and expensive is like $6 for like a little small bushel. Yeah. So bushel? And Bunch. we can preserve a lot of it, plus the plants grow for like 10 years, they yeah. can keep reproducing. Which is we, really cool. But we won't be able to harvest it for two years, so it's good we did it now, because like, that way in 2024 we can have asparagus again. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now I'm just finishing up planting 200 green onion though, because we want to dehydrate these, because they're good for soups, like to add onto them or garnish afterwards, so. This was really cool by the way, so for the price of one, green onion so green onion we checked at the store it's two dollars and we paid two dollars for a hundred bulbs which is madness so we're pretty excited about that yeah so we're gonna plant that all along here but rather than boring you with a bunch more planting i think we're just gonna quickly get this in the ground and go whip up some dinner i'm getting pretty hungry yeah well i can finish this up if you want to go get started on dinner you don't mind not at all i will take that yeah. offer and run <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll pick you guys up in a bit. So it has been a little over a week since we planted this and we held off on doing our big reveal because we were really nervous that we were going to end up with just another mud pit with rows in it because the plants weren't going to take, but it we literally could not have like could not have went better. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Look at this place. It looks so good. So our potatoes have popped up and are doing their leafy goodness. They're thriving. I think the potatoes are probably what shocked me the most because of how moldy they looked. Oh yeah. I just didn't have high hopes, but the asparagus, like it's already up and the green onion, there are a hundred bulbs that went up. It's pretty exciting. Crazy. And I think what's like the most exciting is now my creativity gets to shine when I dig out my crayons and construction paper and come up with the logo for Fruits by Fruits because it's gonna be a reality with this garden. Like we've got onions coming in here and I'm just very happy. It's really exciting. It feels really empowering, I think is the only way to explain it. The one thing though that I really need to solve is not having to do it by hand every single time we water. So I think we're gonna set up sort of like a 12 volt sprinkler system using a solar panel. I still have to figure that out, but. I don't mind because I get a gun show every day. So <laughs> anyway, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set you guys down and help Tyler finish watering this garden and we will catch up with you next Sunday. Have, have a wonderful week. Bye guys.